Hi everyone, it's Eric Carter, and as you can see right here, Spider-Man has finally been revealed in the new Captain America Civil War movie. Now, due to various copyright reasons, they couldn't include him in the previous trailer, but finally we get to see him now. Now, there's been a lot of buzz about what his costume would look like. Apparently, cr the creator of the costume says it's going to look great, it's going to look amazing, it'll look completely different from all the previous Spider-Man costumes we've seen in live-action movies. And it actually does look much different, even though it's very much the same, because Spider-Man's costume is practically a very sort of like basic templates. There's nothing really much you can change on his costume unless you completely change the time period as in like the 2099 Spider-Man that you would got in the Spider-Man Edge of Time or the Shattered Dimension games. So I'm going to let you know very very briefly what I think about his costume. Very quickly before we get onto Spider-Man though, the trailer looked great. Only problem though is that this trailer only further proved my point as to why I personally think that Iron Man is the villain of this movie. And including that general as well, but I've got a separate video of that coming up as to why I think Iron Man is the villain, so you can stay tuned for that. This video, though, is basically about Spider-Man's look in Captain America Civil War. Now, there's only basically this shot, really, to have a look what he looks like exactly, and I think, personally, that he looks really, really good, but he needs more renders. And the fact that the movie's coming out very soon. I'm pretty certain that the movie is practically coming to a wrap now, so they've practically finished the editing, finished the scenes they're going to put in and all this and that. And so I'm pretty positive that this is going to be what his final look will look like in the movie. And it looks good, but it does look a bit animated, and that really is a problem. Uh, Spider-Man 2, 3, and even The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 there's definitely segments and scenes in the movie where Spider-Man was animated, but he had a sort of like realistic look to him still. The textures on his costume still looked real. Here, however, he looks too smooth. He looks too clean. He looks like a cartoon in a way. Sort of like a 25% cartoon and 75% real, or something along those lines. So it, I've got kind of mixed feelings about it, even though it's not a 50-50. He looks more real than cartoon. He still looks... Uh, he just doesn't... he looks a bit phony. He's like, he looks like a fan-made sort of, like, Spider-Man. Maybe it looked different in the actual movie, but just judging by the scene we get to see him in this trailer, he looks a bit animated and a bit phony. Uh, that being said, his uh, webs over here, it was cool to see... I'm just gonna mute this over here. It was really, really cool to actually see Spider-Man's web hit Captain America's shield, and then to actually have Captain America just react to it. Just look at that face. And that web does look quite good. It looks like an actual big stringy web rather than a big CGI effect and stuff. So that looks cool. And Black Widow's there reacting to it. And the fact that he actually manages to handcuff Captain America at the same time as well, that was also really cool. Uh, yeah, those webs remind me exactly of that movie Eight-Legged Freaks. So it looks like they've actually put a lot of effort into the webs, the way they look and stuff. And yes, yeah, Spider-Man does look acrobatic. And in the air, he looked fine. But it's just when you stop and you get to see him standing still. That's where you can tell he looks a bit fake. Now, there's also a scene right here that he has with the eyes. And these, I really, really like what they've done with them because it really allows him to sort of, like, show more emotion with his eyes, basically. Because Spider-Man, you can't really tell what he's feeling. You've got to see it with his body language and you've got to see it with uh, the way he sort of, like, talks. But here, it seems like you can actually see how he's emoting with just the look of his eyes as they sort of, like, change, as you can see right here. If I just uh, go through, you can see just right here how they sort of like close in. It's like he's sort of like being serious right here. So that's cool. Now many people are going to say, okay, if he's a if he's a basically a kid, how on earth can you make a costume that ha does that with the eyes? That's that sort of like te technically advanced. Well, since he's on obviously uh, Iron Man side right here, he's got, obviously I think it's Tony Stark that's obviously built the suit for him, and that would be quite kind of, that that is quite cool. That is a quite a uh, good little touch and stuff. And, yeah, not much more you can say, really, as it is just one shot that we really get of him. But on the whole, I think he looks good. The Spider-Man logo on his chest, I think, is a bit small. It could be done, you know, a tad bit bigger, but it's not a big deal. It seems like something you can easily get over. I mean, I'm already over it. These patches that he has over here near his arms, uh, they look good, but at the same time, they look a bit off. Like, they don't really belong here. But, again, that's just my current views right now. When we watch the movie, maybe then it'll be different. And this over here, I'm not sure if you can see, this kind of looks like he's got a belt strapped around his waist as well. Which, uh, very interesting. But yeah, overall, I really do like the way Spider-Man looks. I think that uh, he could look a bit better, and I think that he looks like a special effect at the same time, as well as looking real. So it's not fully authentic. I think they really can still do better with him. So I hope 
even though I really do doubt it. I hope that they actually do a few more renders with him and sort of like make the textures on his costume look more real because they, it doesn't look real. It looks quite animated. Even the way it's on on his skin basically looks like it's animated. It's no costume really is that clean when it's actually on you and stuff. But anyway, regardless, he looks quite good. The movie looks quite good. It looks like we're gonna have to uh, sit through Batman vs Superman first before we get to this movie. But uh, yeah. That's basically it. Comment below with your thoughts, and I'll let you know what I think of the movie when it comes out. Until then, I'll catch all of you later. Take care.